Hey, do you guys know what the difference between a Bigfoot and a jackpot in Vegas is? Absolutely none, because you'll never see either one of them. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, my spinners and sharks, Ace here, and today we're actually going to talk a little bit of cryptozoology, apparently, because that's what this channel has just evolved down to. We are doing uh, cryptozoology while we're teaching you guys how to get to Vegas for free. So let's go ahead and bet uh, 1.2 million chips per spin, and we're going to play ourselves a little bit of Lake Spotted Bigfoot over here. So not sure if you guys know about this. I used to play this a fair amount in the early days of my Vegas when I was playing on the PC a lot. But, you know, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, mix it up over here just to see how much better it actually really is on the mobile version. So we'll go ahead and put our standard 100 spins on the clock and on your mark get set ready go so yes for anyone that is wondering uh, bigfoot hunting is a real thing i don't think it's a big thing in vegas because there's not a lot of forest outside of mount charleston and all that so i doubt that a uh, oh here we go we got two rving bonuses already so reported some poaching and we already got ourselves a bonus set of chips here and we did another poaching report too so that's more chips Nice, nice, four and a half million, good deal. And there's another big one over here. Okay, apparently uh, someone at Play Studios is a big Bigfoot fan because we are just ripping it up straight away, right out the gate. Or they heard me talking trash about Bigfoot, uh, Sasquatch, if you will. Which, uh, he actually makes some pretty good jerky there. I don't mind the Sasquatch jerky. I'm sure it's processed, uh, you know, corporate garbage and all that. And I, I absolutely believe that. But, you know, I just like the stuff. It's just how it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking of which, too, wanted to go ahead and say thank you to everybody who joined uh, myself and Hagen Two Cent on the podcast on Sunday. Uh, sorry that it got cut short. We had a little bit of an outage, a little bit of a Comcast outage in my area. And I wasn't able to get uh, everything back online with mobile, too. Unfortunately, it wasn't giving me a good enough upload speed. So we were going to have a really trashy stream, and we just had to terminate early. So I'm really sorry to everyone that uh, made it out there early and was able to reach us in the live chat. Had a really great time talking with you guys. So we only got to do a few of the newbie tips. But we had a lot of fun just talking to Hog and Tucson. They were super cool. And they're, they, if you haven't watched their channel, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to them in the description box below. I'd very much love to uh, do another collaboration with these guys one of these days, too. So we're, we're going to talk about that. I've got a cool little Vegas video I've been uh, writing that I've got uh, hanging out in the pipe right now that I just haven't had the right people to work with on. So I think I've got a couple couples that I wanted to work with on that there, too. Because you guys know that one day she likes to go to Vegas with me as well. Uh, she doesn't always get to go because of her work schedule. So, we, uh, we plan those uh, trips out for very special occasions. Oh, it looks like we got ourselves another RVing bonus, and we made it to the top of the map over here. That's another poaching report for uh, 2.7 million chips. Hopefully, we can make it to the end of the map before, uh, before the 100 spins is up. Oh, there we go. There's another one. We're supposed to get free spins somewhere in between, too. At least in the Facebook version of the game, we'd get uh, free spins every two or three of them. Kind of like uh, El Señor de los Cielos, uh, Lord of the Skies, as they say. So, that one was a pretty good one, I remember. So, we'll see if it carries over like this one, too. Um, also, well, oh, looks like we got even closer here. Are we going to get another good bonus? Four and a half million. We actually might make a little something on this game if it keeps going like this. Now, this is one of those games that will get you get you addicted to slots there because it keeps rewarding you. Oh, there's an RVing bonus right there. And we got 12 free spins. There we go. Those are the free spins I was looking for. And then we're going to get another bonus after that to go ahead and stack. So here we go. Let's run these 12 free spins down. Let's go. And we got our friend Bigfoot in the center uh, as a wild to help us move forward here. So hopefully we can... Uh, stack a few more of those wilds he's just kind of moving back and forth it looks like so then we'll get a few extra free chips there oh that's a big one her, her, her. you know what it kind of reminds me of uh, harry and what's the name of that movie 
You guys know the one, like the Sasquatch is named Harry and they're trying to hide him from the neighbors and all that. Uh, gosh, what is the name of that movie? It's going to escape me all day. I'm, I'm probably going to bring it up a little later on in the episode here. And the Hendersons, Harry and the Hendersons, I think that's the name of the movie there. But that's definitely what this uh, particular version of uh, Sasquatch <laughs> really reminds me of. And I, I liked that one. I liked it almost as much as I liked the, uh, oh, there we go, 8.9 million, big win, big win, guys. But yeah, that was a fun one. And they did kind of a parody of that on the uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids uh, TV show, too, when they found a, found a Bigfoot and a Yeti uh, that he was married to. So that was actually kind of funny. And let's see how we end this one. All right, 1.4 million. Good way to end it. And then we're going to go ahead and get in on that uh, that next bonus there. Here we go. Okay. Oh, no, apparently that other one didn't count. So that's cool, though. Uh, you know what else is cool but totally not cool? The fact that uh, venue fees are taking over Vegas, too, before I forget about that. <laughs> so, uh, But, yeah, yeah, definitely make sure that you uh, check out Hog and Two Cent if you haven't uh, had a chance to already. Had a blast working with those guys. They were great. And we talked a little bit about everything with Vegas. I wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, venue fee thing that's going up. So I'm not sure if you guys remember. I did just release a video on fees in Vegas, specifically the venue fee that just started popping up and is actually hitting regular bars now. It used to mainly apply to bottle service in uh, strip clubs and in uh, nightclubs and you know super high-end ultra lounges and things like that and that's just uh, that was for VIP service and for bottle service in places like that but now they're just applying it. It's only a couple bucks per drink and all but that starts to add up after a while, especially when you factor in tip and all that, and it's really gonna tick people off, I'm pretty sure. Just people are gonna be livid about the fact that they've just got another fee to pay in Vegas. So that's uh, something to keep in mind too when you guys are getting your drinks, even if you, especially if you're getting them at the bar. Make sure that you're avoiding that venue fee because they will rip you up, so be ready for it. Oh, there's an RVing bonus right there. Nice, and that's a good one for our last pick there. Awesome. All right, so it looks like we started at 1,535,426,159 chips, and we ended with a solid 1,545,927,919 chips. So I'm going to go ahead and do some maths over here. We're going to take a quick break, as we always do, while I uh, count up the booty. Okay, guys, and we are officially back now. So decided to go ahead and do the maths over here, and it looks like we came back with a payback percentage of 108.75%. So Lake Spot of Bigfoot, it looks like it gives you some very consistent bonuses, some very fast bonuses, and it has earned a favorite spot on the Ace of Vegas best slots in my Vegas list. So next time, I think we're probably going to go ahead and polish off this page over here. We already did Forbidden Seven, Howling Reels, El Senor de los Cielos is actually, I think, in the top five right now. We got Bounty Bonanza. So our last one on this page is going to be Frisky Fortune's Nitpick. So we're going to have even more cats. I'm going to have to come up with some more cat-based puns, and it's going to be an absolute catastrophe. See, it doesn't uh, doesn't sound quite as cringy if I don't actually pronounce it as catastrophe. It's just catastrophe. Very easy, very subtle. Better joke that way. All right, then after that, we're going to go ahead and cruise over. We'll see. I'll, I'll put up another poll next week to see which one. So we want to go ahead and go through. We're really uh, scraping the bottom of the barrel for the games that we have left. I know we have a good half a dozen to a dozen games left before we are completely out of games. And my Vegas has to make some more for us. But I'm certain that they will because we did just download an update recently. All right, folks, on that bombshell, Ace of Vegas is signing out, wishing you strong hands and happy spinning, you guys.